Hi everyone, this is Kek from Kek Plan Morning Show. Today I'm going to show you how I convert this useless parts rack into something a little bit more useful, so stay tuned. Hi again, welcome to another Kick Plan Morning Show. Now this is the part rack I was talking about. I bought it a while ago, it was a good idea. You see, I don't have a lot of desk space when I'm building. Being able to rack up all the runners is really helpful, but there's a bit of a design problem with the rack and I can show you why. The problem I believe is the rails being too shallow so they're not holding the runners firmly um, that's why they keep falling over at each other to do the conversion you just need some leftover runners like this or whatever you've got left over and you're gonna need your drill so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna need to cut some of the uh, runners out here uh, I need the one that's in T-shapes, so a bit like this, a bit like this, okay. Now, um, I'm also going to need two, which is a arc, so kind of like this, okay. As for the length of the T, I worked out to be about 2.5 centimeters or 2 centimeters will do too. Anything too long, it will just get in the way. Anything too short, they're just not holding the parts firmly. So I would say 2.5 centimeters will work. To fit the stopper in, um, you need to drill some holes at, at the back of the rack. And you can see I've already put some holes there. You need to put it in between the, the rails. It can be in the middle, which is what I've done here. Or you can put it a bit further up or further down. It just depends on where you want it. And then you just poke the stopper into the hole. And as for the size of the holes, you just want to make it just big enough to fit that stopper. If you can make it a bit tight, it will be better. Otherwise, if you push it in and it's trying to push the stopper back out, like this one, it's just not stable enough. So, And then you just fill out the other holes with the similar stopper that should do the job. Now, as for the side, um, you need to put the, um, the square, the art one into it. So this is the art one. It's basically the same. You can cut it into similar length as long as you've got the other side that's that's covering the edge of the uh, rack and so I can start putting runners on so this is the final product if you've got one of this rack and you find it also very frustrating using it too hopefully you find this tips useful to you and finally, thanks for watching the show and hope to see you again next time. If you have any comment, please place it down in the comment section. And if you like the channel, please subscribe and share or hit the notification. And hope to see you again soon. Bye.